Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Today, we just got started working on this Cadillac Escalade. And uh, three little monsters, the owner said, uh, rule this car. So uh, we're gonna get it straight. Let me show it to you real quick. This is before we've done a whole lot. I pulled out all the WeatherTech mats. They're pretty, pretty yucky, but no big deal. Those just uh, get a good wiping. But you can see the uh, sand and debris and all of the all of the all of it <laughs> fingerprints on the windows you can probably hear it in my voice i have crazy allergies going on um so there's crap all underneath the third row all in the nooks and crannies of everywhere <laughs> But that's what's up when you got kids. Headliner needs to be cleaned up. These door panels. Look at that. Oof. Again, I just pulled out the WeatherTech mats. That's what you see on the floor is the uh, transfer from the back of the mat. All right, that's the interior. These wheels are super dirty. Really nice truck. Super duper nice. Got some bugs, dirt, debris, all of the yucky. A little bit of bird shit. You can see how dirty she is. All right, time to get after it. So we're just gonna tackle the interior while Tony's working on the inside. I'm gonna get the rinseless going on the outside and uh, get her straightened up. So uh, we'll be back when we got some more done. Hey guys, I purchased this uh, Solo Clean Line pump sprayer. It's a foaming pump sprayer. Not too long ago on Amazon, it was 30 bucks. I've got universal clean and prep in here, one part product to seven parts water as usual. And uh, the foaming really helps keep more of the product on the surface so that it can be more effective at cleaning. So check this out. So it'll stay longer than just spraying it and it dissolves what's happening before it runs off the panel. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave that there to dwell, but I just wanted to show you guys this uh, foaming sprayer is pretty awesome. I haven't owned one of these foaming sprayers before, but I use the regular pump sprayers all the time. Um, we generally have infinite use detail juice in one, and then I have another one that I keep universal clean and prep in uh, all the time. And that's what we operate with. But I just uh, adopted this thing because for wheels it's awesome and for heavily contaminated areas it's awesome. Uh, I also, on the Ram Rebel I posted the other day that we detailed, uh, I was able to use this quite effectively uh, when I was clay barring that vehicle to remove all that black contamination. So uh, if you're using Universal Clean and Prep, I highly recommend uh, getting one of these sprayers because the foam is highly effective. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this Escalade is all done. We've been fighting the debris from this oak tree this whole time. Every time we open the door, more pollen and crap drops off of it into the vehicle, on the vehicle, everywhere. But as you can see, what I did was I washed, I did a, the Gary Dean wash method, rinseless wash uh, with Infinite Use Detail Juice, uh, I clayed as I washed with that. So basically I would take one panel at a time, wash from top to bottom, go in there since the panel is then clean but still lubricated, I clay and then I wipe everything off. I did that all the way around the truck. Man, that metallic looks nice. 
I did that all the way around the truck and then I polished the whole truck with the new version 4 ceramic acrylics universal all-in-one uh, that'll be live March 1st this new ceramic acrylics is stronger than ever slicker glossier it's awesome uh, universal all-in-one has been vastly improved as well same formula so same amount of ceramic acrylics same amount of the uh, custom tempered abrasives that are in smart cut and smart finish uh, but uh, we thickened up the formula a little bit and we updated the protective system in there and it is awesome anyway goes on and comes off like a dream as you can see it looks amazing Clean the wheels, the barrels, and all of that. I dress the tires with universal dressing, diluted 50-50 with water. Clean the running boards really well. Got the door panels and the windows all straight. All right, so you saw the front, we got the front end all nice and good to go. I know I showed you the cup holders before, we'll do that real quick. All nice and clean, as well as that area. Good to go. I like to make sure there's no fingerprints or whatever. So that's all clean, leather's all cleaned. We pulled these WeatherTech mats out and cleaned those really well underneath the seats. You remember that third row under there was all kinds of gross. It is not now. I got the headliner all scrubbed down, the screens are all clean. Tony got the windows straight. See what I mean? All this pollen crap. Door panels are all nice. And in the back, if you guys don't know, these Suburbans and uh, Escalades have the rear hatch opens here. So you gotta make sure you get these jams. We always do, but that's because we're aware of them. Some people just don't realize that this uh, window opens up like that. So that's all done. Let's give it a final wipe. And she's good to go. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching these videos. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble. If you need my services, or a question about a product answered, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check out DetailJuice.com March 1st, 2022 for, for the new product releases. Uh, if you got questions, again, use the number. I can't help if you don't ask. Have a great day, guys.